Hi everyone, it's a ticket to Christ. Thank you for tuning back in. We are looking at uh, the heart that loves the Lord Jesus Christ, just being anchored and focused on that theme today. We're in Matthew 7, verse 21. Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, but he that doeth the will of my Father, which is in heaven. And this is the Lord speaking, of course. Um, so uh, if you read the context of this, it's in the context of false prophets. But I think as well, this is something that we can all apply to ourselves and really look at it as a gauge for um, am I loving the Lord? You know, kind of like thinking that through. Because a lot of times people don't think about that. They think, well, is this a good thing or is it not a good thing? But they're not thinking, is it the will of God for me? And God's will for your life might be different from his will for somebody else. Like it might be God's will, for example, that someone uh, should go on a mission team. But it's not his will for you. And it doesn't mean that his will for you is any less good right? And so um, what I get from this scripture is somebody who's wholehearted, who loves the Lord God is going to be seeking for what his intention is for their own life and what his plan and desires are. And of course, there's God's general will for all of us, uh, which is that all be saved through the Lord Jesus Christ and only through Christ can you be saved. There isn't any three different ways. It's only through Jesus Christ. Um, that's the only way to the Father, right? And that's the way to God's heart. And um, so we know that's God's will generally for sure. Um, secondly, we know that God's will is going to be in keeping with his character. That God is holy, right? He is a father of love. He's, he's a God of mercy, compassion. Um, he is humble. Um, he is joyful, patient, uh, father of peace, a God um, who can never fail, pure light, pure truth. Um, there is uh, no, you know, life just flourishes in God. Everywhere God is, is life. You know, Jesus says God is the God of the living, not the dead. So it's just God of life, of light, of truth, of joy, of peace all good things. And because of his goodness, um, we have um, what we have, right? He blesses us. And so um, it's not just about saying Lord, Lord, right? It's about actually doing God's will for your life. And God will reveal that to you. And for each of us um, individually, um, he will call us to what he calls us to. But in general, right? We all know his will is that we love uh, one another, that we love him, of course, uh, seeking first his kingdom and his righteousness. His will is uh, is that all be saved, right? That is his, God's will. God's will is not um, for people to be sick and diseased. It's not his will and his program for people to, you know, be violent and hit and, and mistreat one another. That was not his program and plan. That is the plan of the enemy. You know, there's a parable of um, the kingdom whereby an, an enemy went and sowed in these tares among the wheat, right? And so that's what, why we see so much evil in the world. But it's God's will that your life prosper, right? Prospers. Jesus says, I have come that you might have life and have it more abundantly. And so um, we can take all of those words to the bank. Um, so that is what I am getting from this. It's very short today, but I think, I hope it, it kind of streamlines for you in your, in your thought process. Am I doing the will of God in my life? Or am I, am I focused on doing a good thing? Or is it what God has called me to do? If, if it's a good thing, but God didn't call you to do it, you're out of his will, right? And that's not, that's a very cold and awful position. To, <laughs> you want to be in the center of the will of God because that's where you're safe and that's where he'll bless you. Um, that's it from me, beloved. Thank you for tuning back in. We'll pick up again tomorrow.